Daddy's dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's dungeon? Daddy's dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> Okay, I'm ready. I do a video I want us to watch together, but yes. Okay. But that that'll be later in the in the episode whenever whenever I feel ready. I want to try that uh that Oreo Coke Zero. Oh, heck I heard no. it was surprisingly good. It doesn't sound good though. No, I heard it was like um like that coconut Dr Pepper. Oh god. Coconut cream Dr Pepper. I fucking hate that. I hate that. That wasn't too bad. They have it zero now. But what are they doing with the Oreo, bro? Like, what? Who? They just wanted a, a, a cash grab. You know what I'm saying? On cash grab, they did. Just think that, like, you know, like, their sales are kind of stagnant. They haven't really dropped anything in a while. I haven't seen anything in a while besides that, uh, that spiced one. Bro, but the thing is, dude, that was Coke or Pepsi? That's Coke. But the thing is, dude, Coke is the most well-known no, soda brand in the world. But I'm saying, like... They, they don't, don't need that cash grab. No, they don't, they don't need it, but they want it. So then it's just like, you know what? Everyone's gonna go to the store to try this Oreo shit, at least once. So then it just boom spikes up their their sales for that month, you know. What does that do for them? I wonder. Because isn't that very intriguing? What? That flavor isn't it intriguing? Like what the fuck is that gonna taste? Oreo? Like? I mean, it's not. I mean, it it's not. It doesn't get my attention. I think it pushes me away more than it brings me in. I still want to try it though. It grabs my attention. And like not even not even I don't even the, like fucking chocolate. Not even the obscurity of it makes me curious. Okay, what is something that would make you curious? Like something obscure like that. Why wow, I can't give give me some examples of other stuff that was brought up. People like that. put like uh, pickle juice in Dr. Pepper. Yeah, that's very weird. First Which, of all, I don't like fucking pickles. <laughs> You know, so you lost me there. Dr. Pepper, <coughs> totally. I'll take that. Did you see the girl that wasn't allergic to pickles, but she ate so much pickles in one day that she got allergic? She became allergic to it. Yeah, so, well, I think she didn't know she was allergic because she would eat pickles, but just like a normal person. But she went to that pickle fair, and everything's pickle there. Uh -huh. Everything. And then she, it was like three hours after the... Three hours after the fair. We just got to get a new light. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing. Um, no, we three, know what it is. Three hours after the fair? We know what it is. Stop. <laughs> three hours after her whole face was hived up, like... Yeah, really bad. See, but you would think that it did the... You would think that it would do the complete opposite of, of give her an allergic reaction. Like, if, if she's eating so much of it, you would think that it's kind of building up her immune system. Kind of like how it happened with you with, cat, with the cat. Exactly. Yeah, but maybe she didn't know that she was slightly allergic to it, you know? And so she so got her, so much pickle yeah. in her. Uh -huh. Wow. She got so much. <laughs> she got so much pickle in her. She swelled up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I I try the Dr Pepper pickle juice. What else is there like that? Like real obscure type. Fried butter. Fried butter. I, nah. Why? For one. I would try it. You know. Uh huh. I would try it. But it's not something I'm going to seek out. Like, oh, I'm going to go to the county fair just to fucking get fried butter balls. People do that. Like, no, I'm not doing it. People do that, though. Fried Twinkie, maybe? Fried Twinkie. No, see, not, none of that stuff really... Uh, there's nothing like that that kind of makes me be, be like, I'm going to go for this. Okay, but... Because people go to the okay. fair for, like, the turkey legs. They go for, you know, frog legs, all that kind of shit. I tried finding the frog legs. Couldn't find them. Uh-huh. And they had like these pickle chips that we tried to find. This is last year. Could not find it. But they look so good on TikTok. Couldn't find the place. Pickle chips? Yeah. Like just deep fried pickles. That's yeah, yeah. It. Sliced up. Sliced, sliced, sliced up pickles. pickles. Yeah. But real thin, right? Like yeah. potato chips. But they look no, they're a little thicker, like 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 an eighth or something. Uh-huh. Fucking looks so good. But we did find deep fried peanut butter jelly sandwich. Ooh. That was good. You couldn't eat the whole thing, though. It was way too much, if that makes sense. Is that greasy? It was greasy, but it was just, like, too much of 
maybe gre- yeah probably grease it was just like oh you can take like two bites and it's fucking amazing the third one's like oh that was really pushing it's it it's overwhelming yeah so like we only ate half the sandwich and threw the rest away I did have that the the double the double bacon cheeseburger Krispy Kreme oh was that good that that was surprisingly good yeah it was it, it gives you the the savory and the sweet that you would want the thing is like the but, only Krispy Kreme I've ever had is like from the box that you get from like Walmart or something uh huh and it just wasn't good. And then I like I feel like if I tried the fresh one, it'd be better. But I just never. I'm, I'm not even really like a donut guy, you know. I mean, they're good, but I I don't really. I've had a box like a dozen of them. But I don't see what, what the big yup is about them, you know. Really? Yeah, like they're just fucking normal donuts. I I, I mean, if anything, they're smaller, than like a, a little a little Korean spot. You know what I'm saying? You ever had like a tiger tail? Tiger tail? I never had that. You know, like a bear claw. What's up with these fucking names? Why are they giving them names like that? Because it looks like a tiger tail. It's like a twist. It's a, it's a, it's a, you know, like the twist. It's a bigger twist, uh-huh. but it's like an apple cinnamon donut. Ooh, it was see, dank. that's my lane right there. That's so. If I had to pick a donut, it's either that one or the bear claw, or the apple fritter. It's, They're all kind of similar. And apple cin, like apple cinnamon, like that gets Go my attention. That, 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 that gets me. Go that to That gets combo. me right there. Like. I'm a maple. I'm a maple bar guy myself. So like that, uh, that donut shop my dad used to go to every day. Oh, man, they had like dank ass croissant sandwiches. Like their donuts were just fucking so good, so good. Especially that tiger tail. That's where I had. I never seen it anywhere else. I've never even heard of it. I've heard of a bear claw. See now a donut sounds good, but I'm not usually like a donut guy. But a donut is good. I mean. I, I would say a donut's good at any time of day. Uh-huh. But a donut is best in a cold morning. On a cold morning, I should say. That's when it's best, in my opinion. Really? So on, it's, on a cold it's, morning. It's coming up. It's coming up. Well, I mean, I, st- I still have donuts every once in a while. Especially since I found out that Dunkin' opens at four now. Oh, God. <laughs> but for me, I've noticed that getting coffee is, uh, at least from there, is the worst decision that I can make. Why? Although I do love it, but uh, I crash with that. I crash, crash. hard. It's because there's so much sugar. I crash so hard. You want to know what I've been doing in the morning? So, remember I told you I wanted to stop drinking energy drinks so much? Now, how many were you drinking on a daily average? Two a day. Okay. okay. It, it was it, That's a lot. All right. And which which ones? Oh, just straight uh, Monster Zero. Or the blue ones, The lo- but it's like six grams of sugar. And, and the normal size ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they do have the slimmer, the slimmer cans now. No, it was because at the gas station, it's like two for four. Okay. Three, that's a good deal, honestly, two for four. But um, I was getting them two a day, and then I'd really tried uh, for a day, and I couldn't do it. And I told myself, like, two weeks ago, I was like, I really just got to chill. And I got this uh, Keurig Pods. All your McDonald's coffee. Just straight black. That thing gets me amped in the morning. No crash. I feel great all day. No crash. So I've been having one coffee a day. And it's good? It tastes good? It's fucking great. One coffee a day for the past like week and a half. And on your Keurig machine? Yeah. And can you make that ice as well or just normal hot? So that one is actually meant to be iced. Uh Uh-huh. So it says get a 16 ounce glass and fill it with ice and then just dump it in. It's it's supposed to be iced, and that's how I drink it every day. Uh-huh. Wow. I get my I get my Yeti mug, fill it with ice, and then as soon as it's done, I just dump it in there and I go to work. Really? Yeah. See, and the thing about okay, so I'm very I'm a little conflicted, right? So when I when I drive to work, obviously you know that I like to take naps when I get to work, mm-hmm. right? And so my way of thinking is if I have an energy drink on my way to work because I'm feeling sleepy, uh-huh. and I get to work, I sleep. It's kind of like a a counterbalance it's a waste of an energy drink because i can totally go to sleep no i know that i've done it before i'll pound an energy drink that, i'll get to the parking lot and regular, i'll sleep no problem regular no problem that that extra little heartbeat that you're getting it's nothing it's nothing but i feel like it, it's 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 a waste because I could mu- I could save that energy drink for when you actually are for when I wake up after my nap going into the work. The thing is, I feel like you need that to get to work. Yes, I do. I That's do. the scary part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm telling you. So I drink this coffee on the way to work. Just same as you. I would have an energy drink in the fridge. And I'd... Oh, I don't know if you do that. But I'd have an energy drink in the fridge. Okay. And I'd grab my lunch and energy drink. And I'd walk out the door. And I'd drink the energy drink on the way to work. Otherwise, i fall asleep. I'm telling you, bro. This coffee hit different. Because I'll still drink the energy drink. But not enough. This coffee? Wide awake. Locked in. And those curies, they, they do their thing quick, huh? So all you do is fill it up with water. Hit a button. The water will kind of like... I don't know what the fuck it does. It's some, they'll, it'll make a noise. Yeah, I'm like... Rrr, rrr, rrr. And I'm like, okay. And then uh, the button will start flashing when it's ready. And you just click the button and then it goes. Two minutes. Dispense. Yeah. It's good shit. But I don't drink... Uh, so I know I, I, you may say I need it on my way to work. Uh-huh. But I don't. I don't do it. The energy drink? Yeah. Oh, you've been... Oh. Yeah, I've been, I've been risking it every day. Oh, because I like to save it for, after the for nap. when I'm going into work. I've had a couple scares here and there, you know. I feel like a, a cup of coffee is way better for you than an energy drink. I completely agree with you. One million thousand percent agree with you. I think one you. cup of coffee is 60 milligrams of caffeine. 60? Yeah. Oh, I think. Uh, okay, see, and you you say that it gets you fucking amped, it's, right? Okay, no, okay. Gets you jolted. It, I wouldn't say amped, but I feel more awake than I ever have. You feel it working. I feel it working more than I've ever felt with an energy drink for the past couple years and and why is it that if it's if it's if an energy drink is double the amount why is it not hitting like that coffee does i don't know is it that, just, that it, a, it's a mcdonald's coffee effect brother is it just a shock to your system or something something new something different maybe but do you really i mean obviously you can gain intolerance to caffeine uh-huh but if you have the tolerance for the monsters for the monsters at 120 or 30 milligrams that they uh-huh. are and you're going down to 60 don't you think that wouldn't it would be like a little slap on the wrist for you it wouldn't be anything i don't know if it's a mcdonald's coffee or just coffee in general but i love it cuz i like I'm telling you bro i'd be on the way home from work fuck, i need an energy drink i need an energy drink and i'd have to i'd have to either go buy one or i'd have the extra one in my bag don't need it. I'm just all the, day good. The day that you drink coffee. Yeah. But also now, I've been sleeping a lot earlier now, too. That's what I was just about to say. So you got to take like, consideration to sleep. <laughs> so before, I'd be up till like 12 o'clock. Right. No problem. And I'd have to force myself to go to sleep. Now, like 930, I'm like, fuck, I can't even keep my eyes open. What's but pro- I think it's a good thing. Yeah, it is a good thing. But it's probably because you were you were staying up so late before because on the way home, you'd be like, fuck, I'm tired. I need a drink. Yeah. And that's when you have it. And, it would keep and that rolls awake. over to the night. Uh-huh. You know? That's what, I, that's what I really think. So I think that this coffee, I don't get a crash. And that crash is something that really makes you need that other drink. That crash. See, and I don't, I don't, I don't, tip, I don't get crashes with energy drinks. That maybe you do, but the Dunkin' coffee, that okay maybe I do, but definitely not as significant as the Dunkin' coffee one. Do you want you want to tell the people like what you put in the Dunkin' coffee? Well, I've done that before. Have we? Yeah. Okay, can someone go back and add up all the sugars in it? It's a lot, obviously, dude. Yeah, we know this shit. I, but I think with those sugars added, that's what really uh, gets you crashed real hard. Okay, I mean, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. I'm sure you're right, but um. How long does it take for you to crash? Uh, let's see. I'll have it on my way to work. I'll have it on my way to work. And then I'll have it as I'm going in. Mm-hmm. And I want to say it takes me about six hours or so. Oh, okay. That's, that's solid. Solid, yeah. That's solid days I'm, work. I'm almost done for the day. Solid days That's work. when I'm crashing. Yeah. But I need the fucking... I need to be rock hard all day. You know? I hate the... Everybody hates the crash. You know what I'm saying? Who who loves it? Who loves a crash? Yeah, because you, you you still have shit to do. Exactly. I would love a crash at the end of the day. Like, fuck, I'm beat. Okay, uh-huh. that's fine. But no, motherfucker, I'm still on the 50th floor. I'm not in bed. <laughs> you know what I mean? Any any uh, elevator accidents recently? Any? <laughs> no, 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 no. They recently had some people out there to to do some maintenance on them lifts mm-hmm. and it's looking like it's going to last the job site dude that's uh, so yeah. eventually we'll be able to use the elevators made for the building you know oh uh, cool eventually even better even better yeah even better uh, that weight capacity really going to be a factor there huh 
Well, there's going to be less people. <laughs> there's going to be less people around, but um, I don't know, man. It, it's cool to go up that high because it, it has a little dial where it tells you how, how high you're up. Yeah. And every time we go, every time we go up, it's like another 20 feet higher, you know? I think we're at like 400 right now, 400 feet. That's terrifying. It's it's I I love it personally, and I love seeing, like every every morning. I love looking out the, the fucking. You fence. see the curvature of the earth. I, I see the the flatature of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so I saw on uh, on Instagram the other day. As you know, Tom Brady chose football over over wifey over family. Okay, priorities. Lost, lost his kids. Priorities. You know, everything. And she took him to court for half of his assets. Even though she's richer than him. Okay. Typical woman shit for sure. That's bullshit, man. That's typical woman shit for real. I mean, okay, you hold on, saying? hold on. She's richer than him. But, by a lot. So she's... Would you assume she's doing it just out of spite? Oh, totally. Just like, I'm fucking pissed at you, bitch. She was richer than him when they met. And she's richer than him after his whole career. You know? That's just out of spite. She wanted half the properties, half of this, half of that, everything. Half of everything. He had everything in his mom's name. Tom so he, Brady, he, so he zero. had nothing. Zero. Wow. Yeah. Everything's in his mom's name. Oh, my That's God. That's some next level shit. Yeah. <laughs> he was playing chess. <laughs> they were like, oh, yeah, you can't get it. It's all in his mom's name. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure he had some stuff in his name. Uh, very little things. Very, very little. Probably like a MacBook or something that he got out of Best Buy credit card. <laughs> <laughs> like, I I couldn't believe when I saw that. I was like, oh, fuck. For one, it's like you're richer than him. It just, he made the decision. That's it. And you're fucking the jiu-jitsu guy. So, who's really at fault here, you know? She's fucking the jiu-jitsu teacher. Was it a jiu-jitsu teacher? Yeah. They're making fun of his ass. Also, she was cheating on him. That I don't know. I don't know if she was cheating on him or at the end there where she was like, you played another season, this, this, and that, and he played. That's when she did it. I don't know. Because if she was cheating on him, this changes the whole equation, in my opinion, at least. Should we look it up? No, not really. I don't think we're really going to find it, honestly. They were, they were roasting the shit out of him on that, on that roast. What's her, what's her name? Uh, Giselle. Was Giselle cheating on Tom Brady? Also, we're going to teach you how to type. I don't give a fuck. Denies she cheated on okay. Tom Brady. So this is probably after they, they had the, like the, the split. Fair? Fair? Fair, yeah. Fair? Fair. But to get all this shit, come on. The goat, really? You trying to get the goat stuff? Yeah, I think it's pretty, it's pretty uh, messed up that he did that, first of all. Oh, 100% agree with you. And it's totally messed up that she would do that as well. Just knowing that, like, oh, yeah, I, I can do this, so I'm gonna. That's kind of fucked up. It's, like, I understand he's got that drive to win. I don't even think he made the playoffs that year. You got to know when to call it, brother. Yeah. You got to know when like, to call it. He was like, you know it. what? He said, fuck them kids, man. Fuck them kids. I'm out of here. Let me go play another season. And now he's living in Miami, chilling. How do you think those kids feel? They still see him. Yeah, I'm sure they do, but... How do, you, how do you feel about kissing your kids on the lips? That's weird. That's what he was doing all the time. <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> it's so weird. Personally, I think that's weird. It's so weird. But you know what, though? Just to what I've seen... Uh-huh. Just making an assumption. It seems to be more of a, of a white people thing. You think so? Yeah. From what I've seen. What have you seen? I've I, never seen I've that. I've seen all, only white families kissing their babies on the lips. It's, it's fucking weird. Or to all the Mexican families that I've seen and been around, I've never never seen any of their kids kiss their parents on the lips. Personally, I've never seen it other than Tom Brady. I've seen it. It's, that's nasty. Grocery nasty stores, work. amusement parks, see it anywhere. Ew. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, that's what I think. So I'm sure they don't think that. You know? <laughs> Um, white people tap in. Did your did your mom and dad kiss on the lips? But what I was gonna say is, how do you think his kids feel? How old are they actually? Uh, they're in their teens. Okay, so 
when they get older, or even maybe even now, I'm sure they 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 understand. They understand. They're definitely at the age. But knowing that their dad said, "Oh well, fuck this. I'm gonna do this," <laughs> completely neglecting them, <coughs> completely neglecting his family. Yeah. How are they gonna see? In what kind? Of, in what kind of light are they gonna see him? You know. And he even now he's doing uh, broadcasting instead of being with his family. Mm-hmm. You know, so he's doing broadcasting for Fox, I believe, probably the biggest contract ever, and uh, that that's a full time job in itself. You got to be on the road all the time, going place to place to place to do all these broadcasting. And them knowing how much money that he makes and has, they're like, "Well, Dad, Dad would rather be away than spend time with us." That says a lot. It does say a lot, and like. That's why being a football player is really like even a professional athlete is insane okay. hard to have a family. Cause like, uh, do you know who Will Compton is? Nope. He's like, uh, he's an internet personality now. Has a great, hilarious podcast. Super famous on Barstool, under Barstool. He's an ex. He played eleven years in the NFL. Not like a big name by any means. Just role a backup player. guy, role, role guy. Yeah, role player. And. Uh, Clearly, if you're in the NFL for 11 years, you're doing something right. Yes. So I'm not saying he's terrible by any means. Just a role player doing his job. He said that whenever you get like two days off during the week, wherever you are, like 80% of the guys would just fly home just to go see their family and then fly to the game. Really? Yeah. He's like, yeah, dude, they miss their family. So like they, they want to go see them. They're in another state. They literally book a flight, go home. Don't, three in the morning, they'll, they'll do it. That's, that's how they live. They want to see their kids, and that's tough. You know? It is tough, but when you have the money, yeah. I mean, why not, you know? So, like, that's why I wonder if, like, those stretch of home games that, that teams have, if they really spend a lot of time with their family. I hope they do. Oh, I'm sure I'm sure they do. Well, the ones that care about them, at least. Yeah. Not Tom Brady. You know who Devontae Adams is? I've heard of him. One of the best wide receivers of our generation, arguably. One of our of hmm. our generation. Okay. And uh, he had, like, a party for his kids, or for his kid, his daughter, and he said, like, most people didn't even know who he was. At, at the, like, the kid's parents didn't mm-hmm. even know who he was. Crazy. They're just going to this giant mansion in Las Vegas. And it's like, oh, nice to meet you. You're blah, 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 dad. I, well, okay, well, it, take this in, into consideration. I'm assuming they invited, like, neighbors, friends around the area, stuff like that. And if they're living within Kids. that if they're living within that same area, I'm assuming those people are, are of pretty high status themselves. I guess you're you right. Know? I didn't think about that. I just think that it's weird that they just... Oh, Devontae Adams, never heard of that guy. Well, maybe because you're a fan of football yourself. Like me, Devontae Adams. If I were to go out in the street and meet a Devontae Adams, it's like, oh, hey, what's up, dude? And like... I don't know you. You're Devontae like, Adams. Like when Jake, uh, when he met uh, what's his, Julio Jones, no one knew who he was at the, at Six Flags. Yeah. Jake's like, is that Julio Jones? That's because Jake knows. Yeah, you got to be a follower of the sports and know. I mean, how are you missing a 6'8 fucking huge man? Well, even then, I mean, if he's if he's 6'8, he's obviously going to stand out in a crowd of normal looking people. But the thing is, if I don't know who this 6'8 dude is, he's just a 6'8 six, eight eight dude. dude. That's, that's it. A, that's, a, that's a tall man. You know, that's a tall man. We, we gotta study his downfall, you know. Injuries. Damn. Speaking of injuries, you yeah. want to talk about yours? No. <laughs> so I, I hit up Zach, and he just sent me a fucking list of shit that I should buy. That was fucking awesome. And he was saying that they have to do grafts from like your leg somewhere, like your hamstring. He said there's a bunch of shit that they take it from. It scares me. Depending. On the type of surgery you get, mm-hmm. which I'm assuming that's the one that he got, considering that those are the types of tips he was giving you or yeah. whatever. But um, yeah, so there's a there's a hamstring tendon graft that they will take off. So you know those big old cords in the back of your knee. Uh-huh. So they'll literally um, use that, considering that they are so strong. They'll use that as your new ACL. That's one type of surgery. Or I can get a donor. Or you can get a donor. Yeah, obviously you can get a donor. I feel like my body's strong enough for it. But they'll they'll take it from a dead from a dead dude. Oh yeah, totally. You know, or so you you have two different dead dudes inside of you. One. Oh, uh, so which one was the graft one? Oh wait, you know what? I'm sorry. 
You're right. I have two different dead dudes. Yes. Okay. The first one was from a dead dude. The second was from a dead dude as well. So all three of them ain't strong enough for you. Well, the second one's still holding up just fine. Oh, yeah. I didn't think about that right. Sorry. I mean, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. But uh, the, the, the other surgery is um, they could take a piece of your, or your patellar tendon. It's like part of your kneecap. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah They could take a piece of that as well. But that's one of, of well. like the, the biggest ones. And um, that's how they'll use that as your, as your ACL as well. So it's really just depending on the type of surgery that you, that you and your surgeon come to an agreement on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because although your surgeon may want to do one, you can pick another one. Pick or re- or suggest another. What I well, what Zach said is he's gonna show you a bunch of stuff, and you kind of gotta pick. I I don't know anything. I gotta I gotta start researching this stuff. Or I mean, or you could just leave it all up to the surgeon and uh-huh. trust him, depending on who you, you go to. Really, yeah, that's what I did. I feel like that's what I should do too, just because I don't know shit. That everything that they sent, I was like, what the fuck am I reading right now? Mm-hmm. What am I reading? I mean, they went to school for over eight years for this exact reason. Way more than so, eight years, I would, I would imagine. For over eight years. Yeah. You know? Uh, maybe this could help you. Amy tapped in, and she was like, oh, yeah, I recommend getting this book. It's called Torn. It's called Torn, and it's about getting over that psychological thought. Okay, understandable. I totally get it. Because I know you have that thought. I do. Uh-huh. It's always in the back of my head. Uh-huh. But that thought is not just connected with my mentality. It's also connected with my physicality as well. I know, but I feel like that mental is something that's holding you back a lot. It is totally holding me back somewhat. But like I said, it's not just connected to my mentality. It's the, the physicality as well because I feel it different. My knee does not feel like my left. My right knee doesn't feel like my left. When I do certain things, make certain movements, it doesn't feel like my left. Like right now, I'm, I'm conscious that there's a pain there. Yes. You know? I'm conscious of it. Can you feel something in there? Yeah, totally. At all times? I mean, it's pretty much at all, all, at all times. I, it, not only can I feel something, I can uh-huh. hear something as well. Ooh. You know? But only you could hear it, huh? Yeah. You, you, no, you, I've heard it. You know how like... But sometimes maybe you like... Uh, You'll crack your ankle, and it's not the loudest one, but you can clearly hear it in, yeah, yeah, within yeah. yourself internally. Uh-huh. It's kind of like that. So, like, when I broke my right ankle, so I used to be able to, like, crack my ankle. Like, you can hear my left one crack. My, my right one would do that, too. And I broke it, and it, it never came back. And there was, like, this itch that I couldn't scratch in my ankle. Physically, I could. And now it's bothering me again. I haven't thought about it in a while. But... It, I was like, fuck, I need to crack it, I need to crack it, and I can't. And it would bother me so much, because I would crack it all the time. And that is something that bothers me a lot. It just feels good to do it. Mm -hmm. Cracking it? Yeah. And then there's, like, knowing that I can't, like, anything I would do just to try to crack it, it wouldn't work. Wouldn't work. But, yeah, I got a torn ACL, torn MCL. Torn meniscus. Torn meniscus, that's different? Yeah. So I tore what? Okay. So meniscus is kind of like you have your bone, right? And uh-huh. these are like the two, the two like hinge, yeah, 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 hinge yeah. points uh-huh. of your big bone. And then so on top of that, they're like these little pads. Yeah. That's your meniscus. So I tore that, that as well. That, that's too soft. That's the soft and compression uh-huh. and stuff like or, um, uh, how do you call it? Cartilage. It, it's it's just like a softening pad. Okay. Right. And so that yeah that's torn and MCL is your I think medial cruciate ligament. ACL is anterior. Yeah, they're t- three completely different things. So I tore all three. All three. Well, wow. according to the to, to, to the report. Yeah. And then uh, it says I have a baker's cyst, a baker's cyst. Yeah, that I never heard of, but the homie Jake told me that there's a cyst growing in my knee, and they have to drain it. I guess it's common in athletes, and uh, so I got that as well. And then I texted you last night. It says there's a deformity by two point one centimeters. Of my medial, no, yeah, medial tibial plateau. And it said in quotes, probably from a prior fracture. On your left? Uh Uh-huh. That's from your left ankle? My, no, my knee. So the flat, the flat part right here, I was looking it up. So this part is moved 2.1 centimeters somewhere. I don't know which way. Uh Yeah. 
Wow, that's going to be a hefty surgery. Yeah, it's going to be fucking tough. Nice. Nice. It's going to be good. Well, I mean, you got to get it. So I mean, you have to get it. If you don't get it... Yeah, I'm fucked. If you don't get it... It's just going to get worse and worse and worse. I mean, it'll gradually get worse, yes. But um, you won't be able to live the same. No. You're never going to run again. Comfortably, at least. Yeah. So I was thinking about that, too. Where I was like, I ran for that week. And then it started hurting a little bit. And I stopped running. How, how was I even doing that? How? I... Like... Everything I've been doing, it's like, I've been thinking about it way too much recently. I've been overthinking about this shit so much since mm-hmm. I got the... The report. Yeah. And honestly, in my head, well, I wonder how many people thought I was faking it. The, the knee injury? Yeah, because some people didn't even fucking believe me. Because there was a point at time where I was walking around work with a cane because I, I couldn't fully walk on it for like a month. I wonder how long. I wonder how many people didn't believe me. Well, I mean, who gives a fuck if they believe you or not? No, I know. I was just wondering. Well, you really, you're really... You're the one that really knew what was going on with your with No, your I, started, I started fucking thinking myself, like, maybe I, I didn't tear something. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I mean... Because Jake would always tell me, like, even up to, like, a week ago, he'd just be like, nah, bro, you probably have just a sprain. Sprain MCL. I told you from the beginning it was your ACL. Yes or no? You did. But I told you it was... So, I told you it was on the inside. Uh-huh. But that's not ACL, Right? No. That's the MCL. No. So that's only where I feel pain. That's the only place I feel pain. You know? So I'm 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 not a pain specialist, but I'm a two time ACL torn champ. Two two time champ? And honestly, this is probably what I get for years of abuse against you. Years. No, I w I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't wish a torn ACL on my worst enemy. It's terrible. Imagine I tore all three. No, but if I tore the PCL, I wouldn't be able to walk. No way. Well, lig- ligament tears are worse than bone fractures. Really? Yeah. Not only are they harder to heal from, but uh, damage can be more extensive through through one's life. And what sucks is, is that like all week, even before I got the report... I noticed, like, man, my knee's been bugging. It's been bugging recently. Yeah, it'd be like that sometimes. And uh, I know that, like, if you let something go for so long, it just gets worse. I just feel like they're just rubbing up against each other so much that it's, it's like, I've been having a pain in there more than normal. So, yeah. 26, got an appointment. Excited for it. Just I just want to get this shit over with. Yeah, totally. That's a good idea. I've been wanting to get it over with. The the the, the sooner the sooner you get cut into, the, the sooner better. the sooner you will be healed, and ready and have a good knee again. But physical therapy is gonna be fucking tough. Ugh, the thing is, I'm gonna have to go do it with Kaiser. That's a fucking terrible part. Yeah, at least a little bit of it, yeah. So know? I'm gonna go to my homie down the street. You know what I'm saying, fucking Goldman. I liked them last time. Yeah, but it'll just cost you an arm and a leg is all. I just stick with Kaiser. But, <laughs> but, um, it's worth it though, man. You get what you pay for, you know? I'm also not excited about being out of work for so long. Because you get a pay, pay cut. Like, seven, like you only get 75%. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Not excited about well, that. I mean, you, got, you have to take time off. There's no way you can, you can work. Absolutely, at least for a month. There's no way you can work. Oh no! But even way. then, your doctor won't clear you to go back into work for at least a couple months. Uh, yeah, for like three le- months. At least a couple months. But what do you what do you think? Do you think I should take as much time off as possible? I would. I mean, as long as as long as uh, your lifestyle can your lifestyle and your bank account can keep up, I would say take as much time as you can. To get your knee as good as possible. Because they can't fire me. Right? No, well, not on, not during your time off. But afterwards, mm. I mean, who knows? It's like, hey, this guy's been out for fucking six months. <laughs> you know? I, I don't know. I'm not sure. And but how long were you out of work? I was out for about eight, nine months. Oh, lovely. You know? But you was moving. 
I was I was moving. I was moving, but I I, I knew myself that I, I wanted to take as much time off to. Um, but you went to all the physical therapy. I went to all the physical therapy. I was doing shit myself, but yeah. I, I just wanted it to be as uh, good as possible when I return to work because I know the type of work that I do. And that's the same with you. You know the type of work you do on a daily basis and you know... And I gotta be moving all day. Well, I mean, not only that, moving is one thing, but if you're really like doing... Because sometimes I gotta get on my knees and, you know, get in weird positions and shit like that. Uh-huh. And um, if, if you know that it isn't so... Your work isn't as strenuous on your knee, then maybe your doctor could put you on light duty or some shit. You know, it really depends on what... Yeah your l- work consists of uh-huh. Fuck. it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun you're really gonna love the pain embrace that shit i wonder because i have a pretty high pain tolerance i wonder how well i can handle it dog i'm telling you i know you say you have a high pay tolerance that th- this is the part i'm actually most excited for but this is gonna be like something you have never felt in your life this is the part i'm most excited for you know it's gonna be i'm telling you dude i mean <laughs> believe me or not whatever <laughs> Prepare for the worst because it's going to make it easier for you. Like um, I was telling, uh, you know. Zach? No, um, I was telling Anthony. Yeah. Expect the worst. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then whatever comes will be easy. Yeah. You know? Expect it to be the worst pain of your life. The worst pain you've ever felt? Multiply it. Because it will be that bad. I don't got nothing in my head that's like, fuck, that's really bad. I it's, got nothing. It's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. I can guarantee you it's going to be bad. Why do you, They give you painkillers for a reason. You think I'm going to get addicted? Hey, I'll get addicted nah, with a ton of weight. I don't think, I don't think you'll get addicted, but... <laughs> well, give me the but they give fat. you painkillers for a reason. Give me that fat, baby. Give me that doctor's pre- prescribed. Got to be careful with them painkillers. How about we, we get out of this injury talk... And I get into this fucking video that I saw about five seconds of it and I just started crying laughter. Well, me personally, I thought it was fucking hilarious. Yeah, so, okay, let's see it. <laughs> me personally, I thought it was fucking hilarious. I don't want you to show my wiener. Oh, shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Holy fuck! <laughs> oh my god. Right, give me one sack. I'm gonna have to take it out of the sack, so. If anyone insists, I can give you some credit. What the fuck is that, anyways? <laughs> the price smells terrible. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Uh, give me a sec, team. Give me a sec. So this is what the balloon eggs oh. like. So mine's hairy and loose is bald. Right, so before you drop any hate in the comments, like I said, this is a delicacy in the Philippines. Like I said, and I wouldn't want to disrespect another food's culture. <laughs> I'm here to try it's a lot of around the world. So this is the oh, fuck egg. that. Part three. So a, a blue egg. What I'm getting out of it is I don't know what it is either, but it's a, uh, it's an egg that was hatched, but died before it was able to to be born. Oh, for an aborted fetus, is what it, well, not really, but oh. that's insane. And you know, I, I'll, I'll give that guy props. He tried the fucking juice. Yes, he tried the juice, but as he was fucking puking and gagging his guts out, <laughs> he kept peeling it. He kept peeling it, prepping himself. For what was gonna be the worst experience of his life. <laughs> oh, that's fucking oh. And and as he was, he kept feeling it. Would would you try that? Fuck no. Well, you were gonna try the thousand year old thousand year egg. Yeah, or hundred year egg, century. Somebody egg. fucking left it in their goddamn car. No, for I six months. I did not leave it in my car. I left it on top of my fridge. You're gonna have to tell that guy for what fifty seven floors. No, that guy's definitely. I don't. Who knows where he is. Okay, we're going to have to buy something. Probably back in the Philippines or something. Who the fuck knows where Honestly, it is. Honestly, I, I am willing to try that. That's intense. I'm not even going to watch videos of people even eating it. I just want to I want to experience it raw. Well, I don't con- even know what it looks like. Considering con- considering what I have seen from you, I th- 
You're throwing up. I'm throwing up. Without a doubt. It's mo- it's mostly for my enjoyment and just to to see it. Because for how when you say thousand year egg, hundred my it's head, a century egg, sorry. Oh, sorry. Hundred year egg. Hundred year egg. I just picture it black. Just everything just black. I'm willing to try it. It's a delicacy to them. You know, what I want to try is people make hard boiled eggs and they soak it in soy sauce. That's like the they egg. like pickled eggs. Pretty much, but soy sauce. So when you take it out, it's like all uh, it's all brown and S- salty as hell. They put it in ramen. Uh-huh. So what they do is they'll slice like a like a nice chunk off and they kind of put it in ramen. Looks good. Yeah, see, but I feel like that'd be a lot easier to eat. Oh, totally. Especially since you got the the fucking the soy bomb covering all the flavor there. Yeah. But then again, it's no, a hard boiled egg. I like it's, hard boiled eggs. Yeah, it's a normal way. Do you like hard boiled eggs? Yeah, yeah, I don't mind hard boiled eggs. You know, that's the best way to eat an egg, besides raw. Uh, I didn't know that. I did. What's so What's so best about it? Because it retains all the nutrients in there. Does Nothing it? is wasted. Hard, unless you eat the shell. Hard boiled eggs are good, but they got to be warm. I can't. I can't do it cold. So you just like a fresh. I like a fresh, hard-boiled egg. Like, there's... So, um... I mean, I've, I have I see a bunch of dudes. Even my brother, he used to do it before. But a bunch of dudes in the trades, they'll have hard-boiled eggs, right? Because it's something quick. It's easy. Yeah. And they'll have a bag of hard-boiled eggs um, that they'll be eating. And they'll fucking finish it within, like, five, ten minutes, right? But they're cold. Can't do it. I can't do it. I've done it before. And I just can't. How I do it is... I'll just get them. Salt, pepper, garlic, a little bit of chili oil. Pop that bad boy in the fridge. Take it, take it in the morning. Morning. Morning snack. Three of them. That's solid. That it's is good. solid. It's good. That's solid. Really? The cold really bothers you? It does. It really bothers me. It really, really bothers me. And it's not just for, for eggs, right? Like, is it the texture? Mm, it can be the texture when the yolk is like overdone mm-hmm. and it's kind of sandy yeah, yes, yes, yes. so you mix a sandiness with that cold Ugh. that's why as soon as that 11 hits 11 minutes put in ice water you'll never overcook it i see people steaming it now you seen that Mm-mm. they'll steam them and the yolk looks so much better well it might look better but does it taste they're saying better? it's way better why they're saying you've been doing it wrong uh it's tiktok though i don't like We've been doing everything wrong according to fucking TikTok. Yeah. In fact, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You learn a lot of shit on TikTok. Yeah. A lot more shits than you do in the trades, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 what, okay, so what's something that you learned on TikTok that, that you still do to this day? That I still do to this day? Yeah. Well, I had to put it to the test uh, <laughs> yesterday, actually. Wow. So uh, I, saw, I saw a quick and easy way to patch a hole of drywall. Uh-huh on tiktok and it's i i never had to use it up until yesterday so yesterday we had to we had to do some shit and and something that was enclosed already there was walls all around it Uh and so i had to cut an opening in the wall but we had an inspector coming in and if he sees a hole in the wall he's not going to pass our stuff oh god so i was like fuck if we didn't get it done in time so i had to patch up this hole real quick right and i used that method of drywall patching to cover it up. And it worked. And it worked. And it worked just fucking fine. How long did it take you? It took me about 15, 20 minutes. Wow. Yeah. Just pookie? Lots of it? No, no. It was uh, it was acoustic caulking. That's what it was. So it's pretty much just so um, it, it blocks out sound and it doesn't let anything come out. You know? Real quick job. Real fucking quick. Pass inspection. Yeah. And you're out of there. Yeah. And that, but we'll have to go back in. So it was pretty much a front. It was just a front, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't done properly. So you know in your head, you're going back down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Monday, and you're yeah. going to fix it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to cut the hole bigger, <laughs> as a matter of fact. And, we, and yeah. I'm going to cut the hole bigger, and I'm fucking jumping in there myself. Yeah, it's going to be fun. <laughs> How okay? How many people do you think just leave it though? No, this can't be left. Are you sure? Because it's not the it's not the hole in the drywall that's the problem. The problem is um. So we have these units, mm-hmm. right? They're they're probably about like um, about eighty inches tall. And these are pretty much, vert like vertical fucking air conditioners, right? Okay. So they produce heat and cold. 
Uh-huh. And that's what gives air to the to the unit. Mm-hmm. But this whoever fucking installed it installed it very unlevel. And so when this thing is draining, uh, yeah, it's gonna puddle up on uh-huh. one side. Uh-huh. And that's a no go. That's good. it's fucking bad. It's, it's terrible. Gonna cause mold Even- well, eventually it's gonna build up so much it's gonna start leaking, right? On that specific side, and then eventually it'll get to the drywall, fucking mold it mold up. Mold it up. Yes, yes. So yeah, we have to. Like I mentioned though, this thing is already enclosed. So do you know who installed it? I have an idea. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I have an idea, um, but yeah, we like I mentioned, it's already enclosed, so we have to cut a hole in the drywall so I can get in there and fucking fix it up. I feel like that's one of the first things that, just to make sure it's level. I feel like that's just common sense. Yeah, dude. How how do you not how do you not finish it, take a step back, and be like, oh fuck, because. As soon, bad. as soon as you look at it, you can clearly tell, like, it's leaning. So you cut, so you covered that hole so he wouldn't see that it was leaning. No, I covered the hole because um, if if there were any penetrations in the wall, aside from the door access, then they wouldn't pass. So I just covered it, sealed it, so it'd be all good. I'll be going back there. You want to know where I'm not going back? Red Devil. Yes, yes. Not fucking. I'm yeah, never... you know what? That cha- That place changed a lot. Hold on, should we bleep the name? Or fuck them? No, fuck them. Fuck them. Red Devil, you changed a lot. <laughs> I've been going there since high school. I've been there over 10 times in my life. And it was great every time. Uh huh. Right? And also, when I remembered ordering those uh, buffalo chicken ranch fries that I had told you about, they had crinkle cut fries. These were just plain straight fucking sticks. Yeah, they sticks. were. And they were way overcooked. So clearly something changed. And um, what's up with these pizza spots fucking changing and switching up on us, huh? Yeah, so like I was really excited for pizza. And we went there and then the whole time I was thinking, I was like, man, Augie's would have hit right now. That ricotta on there. It was, it was mid to good. It was mid to good. Well, also, I did get a chicken Alfredo pizza just to try it. It, that wasn't very good. A white pizza is not the way to go. What is your what, what is wrong with you? You ever had dahlias? A white pizza is not the way to go. Hey, I've been to dahlias in a minute. Well, last I heard, dahlias was infected, infested with rats. See, but everyone like last I heard, fucking Lady Gaga was a tranny, and if you liked if you liked her, then you're a fucking tranny lover. You know? What? They're not wrong, but <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, you know. People just start shit in high school, you know? Rumors? Yes, just to start it. Like, like I told you about the Mountain Dew. People would hate on me because I drank Mountain Dew. Fucking bull sperm. You know, like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, come on. I, it's totally fake. Because if they were infested with rats, they would have been shut down. They have health inspectors and shit all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right. I wonder what their, I wonder what their reading is. You're though. right. I wonder, I wonder what the reading is. I bet you it's an A. I bet you it's an A. Because right next to it is Kishi. You, we gotta go to Kishi. You ever had a sushi boat? I've never been there. I've been there once. It was pretty far. A sushi boat. N- never heard of it. Tons of sushi on a boat. On a on a on a wooden boat, table size. They I saw this challenge, dude. A hundred pieces. You gotta finish in twenty minutes. A hundred pieces of sushi. Can you Nigiri do it? Nigiri or sushi? Sushi, like rolls. One person. One person. Oh fuck no. You don't think so? Brother. Twenty. Yeah, no, it's not happening. Not happening. That's a fucking shitload. There, there is this this lady that I've seen on TikTok. Even if we're if, even if it were you and I, I don't think we're putting it down. No, no way. Uh, how much we ate? No way. That's a lot of sushi. That's a lot of fucking sushi. She's like a, she's like a taller, skinnier Asian lady. You wouldn't expect her, but she puts it down. Like these challenges, ten pound challenge. Um, easy. Come on, let's go. Just nothing. Like the hot dog eater lady I sent you. You didn't see it on Instagram. I think it was 200, 200 hot dogs, 200 un- uncooked hot dogs. She had them in like a... Uncooked? A, a, a clear rectangular container. Yeah, like a, like a fish like a fish bowl. Fish, fish, tank, fish tank. Fish tank. And so on top, she just puts a gang of ketchup and a gang of mustard. And she just starts fucking picking them off one by one by one until she finishes them completely. And she's, she's a normal looking... Normal looking lady, you Uncooked? know, like she just fucking dropped her kids off at a uh, soccer practice. Uncooked. 
I believe so. Yeah, they looked uncooked to me. Oh, God. They looked uncooked to me. That's crazy, though, man. Uh, I See, that's that's something that, uh, that's cold. Couldn't, oh, I'm already gagging. Vienna sausages. Disgusting. Disgusting. I had a homie in junior high. During PE, <laughs> we'd walk out to our numbers, oh, and then he'd, he'd be chilling on his number. He'd pull out a can of Vienna sausages. What? He'd, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. Seriously. Oh, you no. You'd just pull out a fresh can of Vienna sausages. And... Oh. I always had PE early as fuck in the day. Uh-huh. Right? Oh. So this is probably like 8 or 9 a.m. Early in the day is the best time, by the way. He's eating fresh, raw sodium bombs of Vienna sausages. Well, they're not raw, but I get what you're saying. You know? I totally understand. That's pretty raw to me. And, like, I've tried a cold hot dog before. It's vomit-worthy. And there's something else that... There's times I'll catch my sister straight raw dog in the spam. How do you feel about that? Disgusting. You would never do that? Fuck no. It's got this gelatinous shit on the outside of it, and it's cold, and it's... Ugh. And I hate even touching it with my hands. The gelatinous shit is probably like um the, f- the like fat. cold Yeah, cold fat, cold, cold fat. grease. And I just see a raw dog in it. She'll cut off a piece and... Cut off another piece. It's like, put that shit in the pan with some oil, crisp it up. That's intense. Oh, that's intense. That's also vomit worthy. <clears throat> and so there's times where you'll be like eating eggs, and then it's just like, oh, fucking disgusting. You ever felt that? You're just eating. You're eating eggs just normal, and it's like, oh god. Are they are they warm? Are they just cooked? scrambled? No, not really. Okay. You've never had that? Nah. Viewers tapping. You ever felt that? You're just like eating eggs, just a normal day, and then some just don't taste right. And it's like, I'm not touching eggs for a while. That's happened to me with my egg sandwich before. Really? Yeah, egg sandwich. And But I'll, I'll make them over easy. Oh. Okay. Never. But what, is that like an egg conspiracy or some shit? No, I've, I've also seen it before that people just be eating eggs. It goes like, oh, pause. An conspiracy. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't do it. There And there was a time where I couldn't eat eggs for like a couple of years. I just didn't eat eggs. Because of that? Because it, it, it was really bad. It's just like, oh. Cheez-Its. I have that disgust with Cheez-Its. You ever just get like a binge of Cheez-Its where you just eat Cheez-Its? And then it's just like you haven't touched. Like, so like the last time I ate Cheez-Its, I remember bought like this big ass box. Uh-huh. I ate most of it and I haven't touched Cheez-Its in years. Okay. I have a similar story to that. But last time I ate Cheez-Its was over... 10 years ago. Okay. I, oh, over 10 years ago for sure. So we went up to the mountains and, you know, before you go up to the mountains, you go to the store, you get some snacks, all that shit, right? So one of the snacks we got was Cheez-Its. We got two of the, two of the big boxes, mm-hmm. right? And I was the only one eating them. Oh. I ate both of those boxes by myself throughout the day. In one day? In one day. Holy shit. And I was even finishing them at the end of the night. So when, when we had got home, I was still snacking on the Cheez-Its. And at the end of the day, I fucking puked my guts out. I puked cheddar. And then, see that? See? I puked cheddar, and that was a traumatizing experience that I'm never, ever, ever in my life going to have Cheez-Its again. So that was the same thing with me with alcohol. Remember? When I throw up on that New Year's, like, ye- like over 10 years ago, uh-huh. puked so much that anytime I smelled alcohol, I'd throw up. And then I, it's, it started getting better where I'd start gagging. And then I just told myself, I was like, you just got to do it. And I just, like, started drinking. And then it just went away. I haven't had it since. But there was a, a while there where, you know, where I was straight edge, but I, I didn't know how I was straight edge. And okay. I was like, yeah. don't fucking take that shit. I tell people I don't smoke all the shit. That was one of the reasons. Because I just couldn't get it down. Couldn't get it down. And with Cheez-Its, it's not like I had a, a an instant reaction to where if I saw them, I would uh-huh. gag. Uh-huh. It wasn't like that. It was just like, oh, those aren't good. To me, it was the smell. So if I smelt it, you know, because you, when you drink alcohol, you can kind of feel it burning. Mm-hmm. Oh, and man, you could that's... smell the taste of it. Yeah. That's what would really do it for me. And whiskey was like, fuck no. Couldn't even... Give me near it, it was that bad. Because I remember, like, 
we were playing beer pong with, with whiskey, and the guy filled the glass up halfway with whiskey. And then, of course, my partner's like, oh, yeah, I don't drink. So I, we got blown out two games in a row. But we got blown out so bad, I didn't realize I was drunk yet until I threw the ball and I just, like, fell over to the side. I was 13 years old. So I was fucked. So they had to take me home. And then I remember I was like, yo, can you bring me a trash can to my friend? I was in my room. Holes in the hamper. No trash can. Hamper. <laughs> so I woke up, throw up all over the floor. But that was that was one of the worst ones. It was really bad. That's terrible. What a fucking idiot friend. Holes in the hamper? Yeah. You fucking kidding me? You thought that was a trash can, you fucking moron? <laughs> huh? God. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That, that, was, that was that. But we're good now. We're up. Uh, you know, functioning alcoholic. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Casual drinker, but yeah. And then uh, I also learned something on TikTok. I say TikTok, it's Instagram. Instagram reels, same fucking shit to me, honestly. Okay. That not everyone hears themselves when they're thinking. Do you hear yourself when you're thinking? Like when you're reading something, you hear it in your voice? Yeah. Not everyone has that. What do you mean? I guess only like 30% of the population has that. How? I, so what do they hear? Who do they hear? Nothing. They're just, they just think. Let me ask you this. Do you think I, do you think I think in English or Spanish? Well, that's a tricky one. In English. Are you sure? Yeah. In certain situations. You know like Antoine Griezmann? Yeah. He dreams in Spanish, he says. He dreams in Spanish? Because he's fluent in French and Spanish? Yeah, yeah. He says he only dreams in Spanish. That's crazy. Yeah. We're back. We're back, everyone. Um, Yeah, some weird fucking dreams recently. Four days, four dreams, all weird. Let me ask you you this. Since we're on the topic of sex. Uh Uh-huh. Shannon Sharp. Did you see that? (laughs) Yeah, that was awesome. Okay, so obviously he went went on Instagram Live. By accident. By accident. Uh Uh-huh. While he was having sex. Uh-huh. Do you think it was valid to fire him? Oh, they fired him? They fired him. Yeah. Why? I'm not saying... Okay, I don't think it's valid. I Because they didn't show anything. Okay. But that's what they do in that business. If you do anything kind of like weird like that, you're done. Okay. So I understand. I'm, I don't think it's valid. I understand. <clears throat> I don't understand, and I don't think it's fucking valid. Because if that were the case, kick Draymond Green off the team. But he's not in television. He leaked, he leaked his whole dick. On purpose. On purpose. Damn. He's, yeah. not, he's not in television, but... He's on television. But he is a major... Yes. And the thing is, to kids, bro, you don't even think about that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, too. A lot of, a lot of kids look up to him. I mean, really, no... Not many kids are really looking up to Shannon Sharp, let's be real. Not many, <coughs> I say. Because of the fact that he is mainly a, a, a sportscaster, uh-huh. right? But Draymond Green, as a current professional athlete, a lot more kids are looking up to him. Do you know who Shannon Sharp is? I do. I do. Do you know what he did? I do. Okay. I do. But I know what he's doing. Okay. Not what he did. But he still has that podcast. He's going to be fine. Yeah, but still, though, I like... It, I mean, I just like that he owned up to it. He just he went on his podcast and he's like, "I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. I never been on Instagram live before. I didn't know it was rolling. I didn't know it was rolling, but yes, I, I I was having sex. He was going to pound town. Good for him. Good for him. But not good for him because he lost his job because of it, which is fucked up on ESPN's part. Millionaire, someone else hire him. Man, fuck ESPN for that shit for real. In my opinion. It's or like, was it Sports Center? I don't know who it I was. I don't know who it was. Fuck whoever it was. That's all I got to say on that. Pieces of jet. How long did he last? How long? I, I didn't watch the whole video. Mm-hmm. I just heard him grunting like a fucking monster and yeah. I was out of there. <sighs> <sighs> Literally. <sighs> I was like, God damn, man. I was like, I got next. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me over Shannon. Mm, fuck, fuck. Okay, back on the Tom Brady thing then. Do you think his son is is going to be a professional athlete? 
Uh, well, I mean, I don't know what his son is into right now. He could be into Legos. He could be into football or Fortnite. Who knows? Um, but Bronny James was always playing basketball since he was real young, you know? Like, and as far as I know, I know nothing of young Brady. There's a, there's a, a bet that's been going around, like, kind of viral. Because he did so bad in the preseason, Bronny James, that there's a bet that's crazy odds if he'll make 25 points in any game this season. That's crazy. And people, like, I'm sure they, they stopped it now, but everyone that bet on it when, before it got super mega viral, they're, they're here to make thousands of dollars. See, the thing, dude, the thing that's... Hundreds of thousands. The thing that's ridiculous about that is, okay, yes, Bronny James might have done terrible uh-huh. in preseason, uh-huh. right? But that doesn't mean he's going to be a bust. I know. Like, what's his name? I, I forget his name. But he was drafted by the Minnesota Timberwolves number one. He was, pre- he was supposedly going to be a great fucking athlete. What's his name? Anthony something. I don't know. He was drafted number one. He ended up being a bust. You know? They play so good in college. Yeah. It's completely different at, the, at this level. You know? And so people can literally turn around on the flip of a dime in a day. You know? You, you don't know what the fuck's coming out next day. And Bronny's like 20 years old, bro. He's not, not, even, he's not even an adult yet. Not only that, dude. He has one of the greatest basketball players. Ever. Of all time by his side. Uh-huh. He's eating dinner with the motherfucker every night. <laughs> like, bro, come on. Yeah. Yeah. He, so that's what I'm saying. People here are going to make thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars off this bet. Because one game. We should hop in on that shit. No, I think it's done. Fuck. Because once something like that goes mega viral, they're like, yeah, we're kind of fucked on that one. You know? 25 points is not a lot. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Once this season, it'll happen. Yeah. I guarantee it. There was... See, th- ugh, this pisses me off. It, it pisses me off so much. There was a bet it had 13 million odds. So if you bet $1, you get 13 million. But all these people that win these 13 million odds, they put like 5 cents. So this guy put 10 cents on a 13... Million to one odds. Why not put like 10 or 20 bucks? Why not put a dollar? A fucking dollar. Or like 10 or 20 bucks. Like he won is- $13,000. If he put one fucking dollar, he'd be a millionaire. Or you can't fucking spare a $10 bill or a $20 bill, dude. Like, come on, bro. But just I wonder fucking, how many... Is it, is just risk it, brother. Just risk it. What is, what is one night without Popeyes going to do in reality? He... If he bet one fucking dollar, he'd be a millionaire right now. I don't uh, remember what the bet was, but what the fuck? I know, dude. So this guy on Barstool, I think, it, it wasn't a 13 million bet, but he bet $250 to win to win like 13K, something like that. And it hit. And he's like, no, no, no. Yes. And he put all that. No, he bet like a dollar, won 250, and he put that 250 to win 56K. That's what it was. And he's like, yeah, I just fucking threw something together. And he said, ah, ah, fuck it, see if it hits. It's $250 that I didn't have before. I'm not going to miss it. Exactly, yes. And he fucking hit. And he needed a touchdown from this one guy. And he was like, I knew I shouldn't have done it. I should have put this guy. And I was telling myself I should have put this guy. And I still would have the same amount of money. But I did it. I fucking did it. And there was like 15 seconds left. Garbage time. And they were getting blown out. When you're getting blown out, you don't put your starters in there. They left the starting running back in, and he scored a fucking touchdown, and he won fifty-six thousand dollars. Good for him. Great fucking day. Good for him. Imagine winning fifty-six thousand on a bet. I'm fucking, I'm coming bucket loads. Uh, bug, bug, bug. <laughs> yeah, and I've been really wanting to get back into the price picks and shit like that. Been itching at it. Really? Yeah. Nah, it's too complicated for me. But I, I, I think I gotta play it smart because I always go for these ten fucking ten leg ones. I got to have 10 players hit, and it's always, like, one or two people that don't hit, and I get no money. I like something direct, you know? Yes. Like, fucking, like, pulling a slot machine thing or scratching some dust off a fucking... But that's why... I don't know why California didn't pass the law. Like, why was it voted no? Because in other states, you can literally just be like, oh, yeah, this team's going to win or this team's going to win. Put money on it. But in California, no. 
all we get is was pickums, you know, and the odds of a pickum hitting is way less than it than it actually hitting. So they're always winning. The lotto's gambling too. Totally. So I know. Like, why the fuck is that not illegal? But what I'm gonna start doing is instead of doing these ten for put five dollars, win hundred fifty, whatever it is, you know, win a X amount of hundreds. I'm gonna do two or three, five to win sixty, and those sixty are gonna start adding up. Oh yeah. Yeah. I think that's what I'm gonna start doing. Yeah. And if, like I'll I'll do I'll do make like two or three of them this weekend, for football. And just see if I hit any. And, you know, that money just right up. Eventually. Eventually. If I hit. Yeah, if, you know? if, if the universe is working so in your favor. instead of me betting on fucking ten players, I'm betting on three. Hi. What, what are we at anyways? Doing pretty good? About ready to go. It's yeah. getting hot in here anyways. It is getting hot. My back is sweating. Knees are gone to heady. Heady. Heavy. I'm having a stroke. But, uh, what episode are we on? 128. 128. Let me know your thoughts on Tom Brady. Fucking having nothing in his name. Me personally, I love it. Just because she's richer than him and she tried to take everything from him. Fuck that. I love it. I'm happy for him. Yeah. Uh, Good move. It's uh, I'm like a little in between because like the father thing and then like you like. I'm talking about as far as the, the not the having anything thing. taken from him. Yeah. Anyways, guys, 128, Daddy's Dungeon. Hit us up. Peace.